All right. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. <clears throat> so like you, and apostles of Great Millstone. Yeah, they ain't gone. They had to go off right then, huh? Okay. Done, 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 done. All right. Let me start this over. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, from whom I learn from and continuously do. Okay. Uh, uh, and a healthy shallow welcome to the brothers out there doing the work. I'm going to have to do this quick. Might have to come back. But uh, this is going to be a quick video, man. <clears throat> I stumbled upon this here. Uh, I'm sorry about the ads. These, I can't stand this, world, this earth, man. All right. Anyway, yeah, I stumbled upon this. And it was uh, to investigate a, a mock guillotine, right? <clears throat> now, it's been said, and I believe it's been proven, that, uh, you know, the, uh, the so-called U.S. government has got, uh, you know, a multitude of guillotines. Why guillotines? Right? Because the scripture said some of us have to be beheaded. All right? And that's just, you know, it, that's just, it is what it is. If you have to be a martyr, so, you know, so be it. However, he's gotten it written. You know, I would prefer something else, but it, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what I prefer. Okay. It's all about what's written. Okay. So I'm gonna play just a little bit of this for you. All right. Now, if you'll notice, uh, Esau is always shook when something happens to him, man. I mean, completely shook, you know, and it's and it's not like, uh, you know, uh, that uh, that people actually put hands on them. Bear in mind, these are their own people that did this because you're not going to see Jake out there doing stuff like this. OK, but, you know, bear in mind, this is their own people that, that are doing things like this. All right. And they get so shook and so upset and completely negate and forget about what they themselves have done to the children of Israel, man. You see? Now, I'm going to go back. It's only been 22 seconds. I'm, well, you can. Just, I'll play it from here. But uh, I want you to uh, look at the dude, uh, the, the Edomite male, if you will, behind her. He's smiling real big like he thinks it's funny. Okay? All right? Okay, so she wants she wants an apology. She wants people to to, to go go to jail and be uh, held accountable. Okay, all right. So the Edomites are the only ones who want anybody to be held accountable when something happens to them or something that they don't like happens, right? You know. But see, <clears throat> let's get this. Let's go to because the love of many shall wax cold. Many shall wax cold. That's in Zephaniah. <clears throat> no, no, I was right there at it. Salakia. Yeah, that's why I had that up there. Salakia. This is Matthew 24, verse 12. And because, uh, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? And uh, and people are going to get worse and worse and worse. And that, you know, I can sort of segue. And I, I'm going to segue into uh, the situation, you know, a couple of days ago that is still, you know, sort of rolling out in Texas, man. All right. You got people, uh, you know, and I heard this from uh, from the brother uh, GMS Awakening 144. OK, but you got people basically making fun of uh, Jacob. Well, anybody down there that are freezing to death just because they're a red state or whatnot. But the love of many shall wax cold, man. You know, that's a, that's a cold way of thinking. But ultimately, how about Shem Shah is the one that's, uh, you know, pulling the strings, if you will. Okay? So, really what we have to do is endure until the end, man. 
And uh, the fact that that was a mock guillotine and the fact that and we pretty much know it's a fact that they do have they've got a, a bunch of they've got a bunch of coffins that can fit two and three bodies that have been spotted. OK, they're uh, they're making moves all around the United States and, you know, and, and around the earth, if you will, but all around the United States to uh, position uh, troops. The U.N. troops are going to come in. You see. They got guillotines. They, uh, I believe they purchased they have purchased like <clears throat> I forget however many rounds the rounds of uh bullets, but they was it was a lot, man. It was a whole lot, right? And bear in mind, it, these say, these are the same people that uh, these people these Edomites get upset about some of Mark Guillotine or whatever, and they want something to happen. They want something to happen because it upset them, and they don't like that. See. A case of free speech that has gone too far. Well, I tell you what, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. So we'll just erase that and go back. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. <clears throat> what about this? And what about that? You forget about all that? You say, oh, that's just in the past. Well, let's, well, let's watch a little bit of this. They used to have picnics, man. All right. And uh, from what I found out by doing research is a picnic derived from pick a nigger and hang him. That's what it that's what it derives uh, uh, from. Or a pick. That's what picnic derives from is pick a nigger. OK. And yes, there's plenty of photos and plenty of history of this happening to the northern kingdom also. See. Now, get this. This is also uh, a lynching. This is also in Texas in 1916, right? People were getting lynched. Uh, people still get lynched, man. I think it was a couple years back, but it was, uh, you know, right here where I'm at in North Carolina that somebody had got lynched, okay? And, you know, there's also modern-day lynchings, if you will, all right? It, this happens all the time, man. See, there's a there's a recompense for that, man. And why is and, and, uh you got to ask yourself, man, why is this uh why is this dude collecting this stuff, man? Who wants to uh, who wants to have that around them all the time, man? You know, who wants to have that around them all the time? You got to think about that, all right? But the Lord, the Lord, he said he requires the past, man. Okay, let's go to the, let's go to. Isaiah 14, okay? 14 and 1. Let's get that. If I can spell it right, my, my, my. Okay, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right, verse 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. OK. So he requires he requires the past, man. It's going to be a one hundred and forty four thousand government. And a one third of, uh, um, in which uh, in a multitude, and then the standard to see is gonna come. All right, there should be there's gonna be a recompense. 
All right. So when they so so when Esau gets upset about any little thing, man, he just falls all apart and breaks up. OK, verse three. And it shall come to pass in that day of the Lord. Shall give thee shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. All right. There was made to serve. And if you go back to the De uh, Deuteronomy 28 chapter, he said, uh, rather, the Lord shall send against them in hunger and thirst in the nakedness and one of all things. OK. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I can keep going there, but let's get a little bit more of this. See, this is sick, man. And it's worse than that. Look at that. Look at that, man. Man, look, he's he is all he's all burned up. They probably uh, cut his junk off, you know, uh, they, they probably they probably did cut it off. And it was said that they would uh, uh, they would uh, uh, cut out, cut out babies. You know, from from the mother's womb. There's a recompense for all this, man. And these are the same people. We're all the same people. Everybody's back, man, for judgment. But, uh, yeah, it said that they would, you know, they would cut babies out and, and the babies would be alive and they would stomp the babies. You see, that is that's uh, that's pure hatred, man. And they would cut, they, they, they would cut your, you know, your junk, your privy member. They would cut that off. And put it in a jar and, and put it on their on their mantle. I mean, that is just uh, that's absolute madness, man. That's madness. Okay, now you got to get that right, though. It, yeah, um, yeah, we're all human beings, but see, uh, the di the real difference is is this is what a, a lot of people don't understand. Okay, the real difference is is it wasn't just human beings; it was uh, it was Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, silver and gold, man. His good and pleasant and pleasantly things, man. His children. That's the difference. You put your hands on his people. All right. And it says that all over the book, man. You know, you did uh you did his people a disservice, man. You know, I I'm and I'm pretty sure I in fact, I'm a 100% sure he's not going to take very kindly to that when he comes back. All right? The scripture says It says the scripture says this. <clears throat> and I was going to get this article here, but We still here. <clears throat> we're still subject to payments. You know, we're still uh, we're still we're yet this day in our captivity. They refuse to let us go. This is Exodus 21 verse 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. OK, so it's either you believe in these scriptures or in these prophecies, in these scriptures. In the Rakak Kodash, or you don't, or you die. Okay, it's either believe or die. That's it. Okay, and with that, I'll play a little bit more of this. Okay, that's enough of that. My, my, my. There were 60,000 people 
sixty thousand people. But no, no. Well, this oh, but this one Edomite stands up in Congress so upset because they did a mock guillotine. Because they did a mock guillotine and, and it hurt my feelings. You see, All right? You heathens, you two thirds, man, y'all are not ready for what's coming. And even we got to go through it. We got to be tried through the fire. All right. And with that, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakwa Dach. Shalom.